to your address bar and type in canva.com. This is the page that you will be looking at and you will then click sign up. Click sign up, design anything, publish anywhere. So you can sign up with your Facebook or you can sign up with your Google, with Google. You can also sign up with an, I am going to sign up with an email, your name, your email and a password create your account so this is a new account what are you a teacher student personal small business large company or nonprofit so you can say you can your personal or you could say small business i'm just going to click small business try canva pro 30 days or you can click maybe later Invite your team and collaborate on designs. Start your first design. So what you are going to be looking for is a YouTube. What you are going to be looking for, YouTube channel art. There is a lot that you can do here. But for the purpose of today, we are looking for YouTube. That's Instagram, Facebook. Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube. Okay, so YouTube channel art. So you're going to click into the YouTube channel art. So here is your YouTube channel art templates that are coming up. Now what you will notice, and I'm just going to choose one as an example. Say we choose this one. What you will notice, it'll say free now once you do choose it there's only a small area and it is located in this area right here and i'm going to make a uh, so i'm just looking for a sh i'm going to show you what is the area that will be seen on your youtube channel and what you should actually be working in on do you see these lines that are coming up Okay, so this shows you the different ruler lines that we're working with and what is going to be shown. You see this right here, this area? This area is the area that actually does get shown on YouTube. That is the first thing that you do is you see what area is going to be shown on YouTube. And I'm just putting in a the channel art is located here on the left and you can choose any one just to start and to see where is the name being. For me, it is right in this area right here. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Just going to take the writing out and make this a little bit bigger. This is the area that you will see in your on your YouTube banner. This area right here. So this is where you are going to do most of your work. Yes, you can choose. Say I chose this picture here. I could change that. I could also go in. So I'm just going to choose choose a photo and you can also go into the you can also go into the key look for the keyword and see what comes up I could choose an actual template and just click into that template and there it will appear I can make it larger so then that is what my channel art is going to look like but there's only going to be this section right in there and I will you've already determined the section that YouTube channel actually sees so you see where the words are right there that is what YouTube sees I want to create a working area for me where I can be creative. 
and it, this is what's going to show on my channel now from there this is your working area right here. so you can now put your text in by clicking on the T right there and usually for a YouTube channel you want to just add a heading here rather one that's already created because it will be in that size and you see what it's done here it showed you the size of what it should be in order for it to show up properly on YouTube so I am just going to uh, click in here and even though it's already selected at all I'm going to select all again and then I am going to type what I want the name of my YouTube channel to be. okay so even though it looks small but you see right here where it says 22 percent that's 20 percent of 22 percent of the whole okay now you can change the font and here your fonts will come up on the left hand side I like to use the either the Atomu regular or the Adigiana toy box I like this one this is a, a playful kind of font now here you can change the size but you have to keep in mind what it's going to look like on your YouTube channel and 42 is a good size you can also change the color if you could just click into the color you will see a number of different colors that come up here at the side you can also choose these are my colors that I've used from before that these are called default colors but you can also make your own colors by clicking on this plus sign and you'll see the colors come up here and you choose what color you are interested in in making so that's kind of like a gold say I was interested in a green I would click the green right there this would then turn green and then you would see the green right there and I would choose that and my my title would become that color I could also just use the slider and slide down and where I stop is where this is the color that I want now you can also put elements and the elements are your photos your grids your charts for the YouTube channel art you can use anything you can use illustrations you can use icons anything that you want to use and when you have a free account you will notice that these come up where it says the dollar signs that is where you can purchase the design that you want because you have a free account and everything that you see here and I could make it actually uh, bigger so that you would be able to see it if you were interested in uh, this type of design or lines or illustrations you would then click the all button and I'm just going to click the all button and then different illustrations will come up that you can use and when you want to search for something else say icons you would just click the all now this is using the free account so you will be limited to everything that's free and they do have a lot of stuff that is free say we go into the photos um, there's a lot of different photos and ideas that you can use for all different types of um, niches social platforms as well so getting back into the uh, elements here are your choices here on the left hand side you could see photos and sometimes it's a good idea to use a for 
your YouTube channel because it keeps everything equal. As you can see here, these are grids. And say you chose this grid for your design. This is what would, okay? So if this were your YouTube channel, you would still only have this area in here to work with. But this would be your grid. Okay. Say we, I, and I like to use grids like this one because then it will give you a choice of two, two pictures on the top and a larger picture on the bottom. And I'm going to show you how that works. Once you have your grid, say you choose a picture, you just click on the picture and you drag it over with your mouse. You have the picture right there. You're dragging it over with your mouse and you want to fit it into one of these grids. You would just mouse over it and it will then fit itself into a grid. And you don't have to worry about sizing it or anything. And I actually didn't did not want that. So fit that. So say I was wanting to fit this one in there, I would click on that and I would decide where does it fit. Does it fit in the bottom or the top? Say I put it at the bottom. This is just examples. And say I took this picture here and I decided that I wanted to put it in the top. Say I chose this picture here and then I just wanted to fit it into the grid. I could fit it into this grid or I could go over here, fit it into this grid or I could fit it at the bottom. So you see how you can choose your different pictures and move them around uh, very easily. And if you don't want to use the grid, you would just click in here and delete the grid. You could look at the templates if you wanted to see if you wanted to change something. And it's very easy to change, I'll show you. If you do not want to use the gr even the grid and the pictures that you chose, you can go into the templates and you could choose another template. Say I chose this template here, then I would just click into that and you see it would replace that. and I could also change the text. This is also a Canva. And I'm gonna just change the text and you could see that it is in the still the same area that it needs to be in. So I'm just gonna change the text. And as you could see, it's typing in the same text as it is there, but you can change it. So I'm just typing this in. I actually like that text. Okay, so here is the text. This is the text that it's using. And it's also using it at 104, which I'm really not sure if, um, how that's going to look on your YouTube. I believe that it's going to be too big. So we're going to make it to, let's say, 48. And even that is, is big. But you could see it's in the same area. And now I'm going to use another color. And I can see the script is not coming up that well. So I am going to change it to another font, something with a, a little bit. You could read it better. So there is the other font that I changed it to. 
We could also use italics. And this will change the text as well. Or you can do the alignment. Right now it is in the center. That's where I want it to be. But if I wanted it more to the right, it could go more to the right. Or if I wanted it to the, sorry, if I wanted this is to the right, and then the other way is to the left. Okay, and then there's the middle, and there's the left. I could also make this in all capitals. I'm just going to change the color so that you could see it better. So I could change this to any color that I like. There we go. I'm just changing it to that color. Now you can also change the spacing. So if you wanted your title to spread out a little bit, you could then click this way. And your line height will then get bigger as well, if that's what you wanted. OK, so you also can use Anchor Text Box. And what Anchor Text is, it is what shows up in a picture or a video or any type of other media that you would uh, normally just see the picture or the video. But what has happened is it hasn't come in. So you could see the text and the text would say best gifts for Father's Day. So I'm going to click on this down arrow. I'm going to click on the double headed arrow. So that means the text will just stay right in the middle rather than going down or going up. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a, an example of position. So say we go back into our elements. And say we choose this that we recently used. Just You could just make it anything. If you see the arrow going this way, you can make it smaller to its actual dimensions, to its ratio. So it will get bigger and smaller to its ratio. Okay. If you see arrows going this way, it will reduce your height of your element, whether it's a picture or an illustration or a chart. It will, this will all do the same thing. I'm just going to show you, for example, that's just an example of a shape. Let's say we used a chart. I would just click into this chart and use the down arrow just to show you how it shrinks to the ratio. Now, this is just an example. And as an example, this just came out on the side. I think the universe is telling me something. So here you can actually put in your if we're doing anything, like say we choose something like this for an illustration, we can then go to the corner of the box and it will shrink to its ratio. Mm 
Okay. And also, wherever you see these white dots is the direction that the arrow is going to move in. And you are going to be able to manipulate your picture with. Okay. So, say I wanted to use this, but I wanted to make it smaller. I would just put this over like that. I'd make it a little smaller. And and now the background doesn't fit, so I'm going to just delete the background there. So now I, I'm not using a background. I could actually take this and put it right over my word right there and click on position. And if I choose a backward, it's going to move to the back. If I choose top, it will move to the top. And I'm just going to show you as an example here. Say we chose uh, top. So now it's moved to the top right there. If we just if you click into anything, you will see the different options you have up here. Okay, so just as an example, say we it, we wanted it to go to the bottom, we would just click bottom, and it would move to the bottom. If we wanted it to move to the left, we would just click left and it would move to the left or to the right or to the center okay now if we wanted it to go more behind another element so then we would then click backward and you see how it's moved it's now behind these so you can move that around or decide what, what you wanted to do, and it will now be behind your text. And I'm just going to take this out for now. So it was an example. Okay, and anytime you don't want something, you can just delete it. The same with this right here. You can just, you can just delete it. All right. So now if you, ch if you want to choose another element to put as your background you can either use your photo you could use photos and I will show you how that would work you would just choose one of the photos that you want to work with and you would then if you were using it as a background you could make it bigger you could make it smaller but what you have to do is you have to go into the position and click in backward to back. And you have to make sure that this actually activates. So when you click in backward, you have to make sure that this turns a light gray okay so now our picture is now in our background and then you can I'm just getting rid of this picture because it, it doesn't there we go so now we have our picture in the background and we still have our title where it should be okay so this is just making a simple um, channel art and I'm going to show you how this works you click download Let's see ping suggested yes download load this 
There are other options, but for this, we are downloading it as channel art. So download. And these will come up. They're little sayings that come up while your design is being uh, done. So this is, I'm just giving it a name. Not saving it in my desktop just so I know where it is. Right? So now I'm going over to my YouTube channel. Making sure that I am on this the right Google account. So you just want to make sure that your avatar up here is the Google YouTube that you are working on. Some people have different YouTubes. You make sure that you are on your channel. I was on my channel, but I was just showing you. Okay, so once you are on your channel, you will see this camera that comes up. Just click in the camera. A box will then come up. And it'll say, drag a photo here, select a photo from your computer. So the photo that you downloaded will now be at the bottom of your screen. So you just go show in folder. It will show your design. And then you just take your design and drop it into this box. And you have to wait until it says that it is copying. But sometimes if you don't drop it in properly, it doesn't copy. And it has the right size, the so 2560 by the 1440. And here you can adjust to see what it's going to look like. So this is what it will look like right there. You can also use your arrow. And if you wanted to change something, say you didn't have the dimensions right when you created it, then you can move this box around. This is the area that you can move the box. Do you see? This is the area that YouTube that you see on your on your channel art. So um, if you spend hours and hours on your channel art, be very careful that this is the section right there that actually is being seen. So I'm just going to click that and I'm going to click select. So now it'll say saving. And this is what it it will look will look like. So that is the easiest way how to make your channel art and set up your account. I hope this has been helpful and look forward to the next tutorial that we'll be talking about creating your channel links. Until then, have yourself a wonderful day and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me and it will also help you with your engagement. So this is the DIY affiliate saying, have yourself a wonderful day. Bye for now.